I'm Kippy from KippyAtHome.com. Welcome to my home. Welcome to my channel. Tonight, I'm so excited. We're going to be crafting up these super cute pumpkins. And I have a surprise. I have a playlist in the description below. And make sure you grab that playlist and watch all the other crafters in there. They're going to be making beautiful pumpkins as well. So let's get crafting. All right, the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to move this aside because we're going to stain our wood for the on the hoop. So I'll take my little tag off, easy as can be, and I'm gonna put down a paper towel because it's sometimes just a little messy, and I'm gonna use a water-based stain. I'm gonna move that out of the way because sometimes I'm a little sloppy. And I'm just gonna use my little paper plate that I've used before. I'm gonna put my little stain in there. If you don't have a brown stain, you can use a little bit of chalk, brown chalk paint, add a little bit of water, and just kind of make a little white wash on there. I guess it's not a white wash, it's really a brown wash, but just a little um, paint that you put around there and kind of wipe off as you go. Now, this has, I don't know if yours comes with this, but these, uh, the last few that I had, have this like little bit of, bits of blue plastic, I guess, to protect it. So you will want to take that off because blue is not really, in this. you're doing a blue hoop. And I'm gonna take this off and I'm actually not gonna use it. I'm gonna just put it aside and who knows when down the road you might use it. And you might very well use it. We're actually gonna use a piece of wire there to hold this back together. And then we're gonna make a stem there. So we really don't need this thing. All right, we're ready to go now. So I'm gonna do one piece at a time and let them kind of dry for a second and they pretty much dry within a minute. It's kind of thin, it's water-based stain. If I can get it out of there, just take the lid off. That'll eliminate any situation with getting it off. It's probably more than enough. Let's just see. So I just have a piece of a whole pillowcase I cut off. I'm gonna use that as my applicator. You can use a sponge, um, sponge brush. But what's really important is the outside of the big one, the outside loop, this one, because you'll see the outside, you actually won't really see this inside of I mean, that part, but doing it anyway, in the event that it ever gets seen. So you will see the inside of this one, the most important part, the outside of one side, and you won't see this part. So, okay, but I'm doing it anyway. I <laughs> just feel like it's complete. Yeah, it's like I said, in the event. Well, this is the side. This is the outside, so you want to be really um, careful to get that completely covered. And you can kind of just put it on or brush it off if you want to. I'll put two layers waiting between those coats to, for it to dry, for it to get to for it to be a little darker. You can spray paint it. There's other, you know, options. You can use a oil-based finish. It takes longer to dry to use, and I like to get right in there and get going. So I'm going with water-based. So, and I'm not putting any finish on it or anything because I don't expect, I mean, I'm not gonna put it outside or anything and people aren't really gonna touch it. I set it on my mantle, so since I know what my end use is. So, all right, so we're gonna put this back together. As you can see, we definitely have a little repair job to do there. So I'm gonna get out my favorite wire cutters and a little bit of wire. I'll have the whole list of everything in the description below so you can grab my whole supply list. So we're going to cut off some wire and I'm gonna go ahead and just double it over. Don't worry about it, you're not gonna see the wire. So let's just kind of double it over. I'm gonna just put it through our little hoop, the holes, and we're gonna replace where the little wire, okay. We're gonna put our wire through the holes where the screw was, and now we're gonna just tie it together and try to get this to you know, stay closed while 
if it doesn't want to stay like good and tight in there, which this one's doing really good, but if it's not, you can actually put a spot of glue in a couple of places around, like between here, before you close it. This one's staying really good, so I think I think it's gonna be all right. So we're just gonna twist it around, and then I'm actually gonna help, this will help me build it too, because we're gonna build out a stem in this little area. All right, that was, that was easy enough. Now the next thing we wanna do, and I'm not worried, it doesn't have to be pretty. We're gonna cover that up. So I'm gonna inspect this for the best side. And that means the side is gonna be on the outside. So we have either this look or that look, and I like this one better. So this will be the one we use to be the outside. So we're gonna turn it over and it's glued to the back side. So I'm just gonna give you a little fair warning because I've made this mistake more than once is to make sure that this is, <laughs> that when you look at this, actually do it from this side, because if you do it from the other side, you might actually end up with that in your project. So it only has to cover, because you really don't want it to get past that, but it really just has to cover, um, all you're gonna see is the inside of this. So I'm just gonna use my little mechanical pencil. It has a, a smaller tip than, you know, like a pencil that you sharpen, a manual pencil or whatever it's called. So I'm just gonna make a, trace a little line here. And I'm gonna cut just inside of it because I don't want it to stick out. It doesn't even completely come out to the edge, which is great for our purposes. Ooh. All right, so you can see that is right up to the top. So if we had it any further out, we'd act, you'd actually see that. So that's about where we are, but you can't see it from the inside. But that gives us a nice surface to glue to. All right, now we're gonna take our scissors and cut just on the inside of that pencil mark. And if you're like me, you'll be saving these pieces for something later. Who knows, might be some little cute something or rather just needed that little piece. So I hope this is just inside the line and we might, I'm gonna test it before I glue it just to make sure that it's not sticking out because this was obviously traced from the outside of it. Now I have all my supply list for you below. And oh, another little fun thing is that you can check out everybody else's inspiration for this project too, or for, I shouldn't say this project, for, but for ball decorating with pumpkins. So that looks pretty good. And this is the outside. Remember, we had to pick the side. This one isn't um, done as well, so that's got, got to be that side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure, and you can see we have like barely fitting there. So we wanna make sure that everything fits. So I'm not really hanging over, maybe a wee bit right there. So I think I'll do like a trim right there. Just a little bit of a shave off of that edge. Back in business. This little part right here, I'm seeing a slight bit of white if I don't get it on there just right. Let me make sure about what's my wrong side here. Okay, we wanna glue it to this side. So I'm actually gonna put the glue on this piece. You can do it either way, but I thought that this was easier. I've done it a couple of times. I'm using my favorite glue. And if you don't have some of this glue, you definitely wanna get some of it. All right, I can't get the glue to come out, so I'm just gonna take a pin and the end of it and just gonna try to get it started again. And that's gonna work, beautiful. All right, so let's get rolling on it. It's just slow and steady. I'm just gonna go gently around the edge. It's just a piece of paper. It's just crafting paper, so it doesn't have to <laughs> doesn't have to do much, but just hang on a little bit there to the little piece of wood that's in front of it. You don't need a ton of glue. I'm really not even 
pressing, you know, the applicator or the glue bottle. Just kind of letting gravity let the glue come down. This kind of um, end is has you know a really small end, so it makes it really good for little projects like this. And the other end has a larger applicator. Definitely not want to use it on this project. Well, I think I'll wipe it off so next time it'll be easier to use. All right, so this is our side that we want to do. And since we know the top of it, it's going to have a little bit of embellishment. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the part, that, the white part, to the top because it'll be more likely to be covered there than in other places. Okay, I'm gonna move it over just a tad bit there to make sure it's covered on that since that's a little bit odd. And now, push it down a little bit, up, down, all around. I'm just gonna smooth it out with my hand. And then I'm gonna let it dry for a few minutes before I move on. Make sure we've got it sealed. Go back and add glue any place where it looks like it might be peep it, peeking out a little bit. I don't want a lot of glue. I don't want it to be shown on the front. So be really careful with the glue. All right, next step is just check to make sure everything's dry. And then we're gonna turn this over and look how cute. So now let's get decorating. All right, we're gonna build up this area into a stem. All right, so, so the, I'm gonna put on my little finger protectors here. <laughs> I don't know which, which, which finger to actually put it on, but we'll just start out with something and then I might have to readjust. All right, guys, we're gonna try to make a, a stem and we are starting out with like a little dot of glue there. And let's see if we can build this up. And we might even put a little bit of well, probably should have done it. <laughs> It'll be all right. So we start there, and I think I'm gonna put a little piece of wire in there so we can get it to maybe shape it a little bit. So why I'm still have a little opening here, I'm gonna work a little piece of wire in there. Let's see if we can get that thing to go a little fun. You know what I mean? Kind of twisting and turning and kind of a fun. Um, I'm just gonna like kind of feed it in here. We don't really know. We're just gonna experiment with this and see what happens. But if you have like a pipe cleaner or chenille stem, this could work as well. But since I don't have one in front of me, we're just gonna work with what we have. So let's see if this can work. Just to make a cute stem. What we're looking for is whimsy. We move this to the other side. We're looking for kind of a whimsical, I mean, that's kind of fun. Whimsical can be you know, kind of wrap the thing around and then we get to the point where we're like, okay, that's good. That's where we'll cut it off. All right, I'm just gonna keep coming. It's kind of twisting up there, and I think I'm gonna give it a relief cut right here, and then we can, because it's really wanting to twist up on me. All right, so we just keep twisting and turning until, I guess until we're satisfied, right? Just trying to tighten it in there a little bit. It's getting to be too long. All right, so let's find that little stopping point somewhere in here and put a, a spot of glue. And kind of get it there and then cut the ribbon off and then neaten everything up. I'll do a little bit more glue. And I probably want to twist these back in before I put my last bit of glue. That was our wire. 
And I think I'll turn this edge down so it's not sticking up. Try to get that wire. He doesn't want to stay in there, but let's kind of turn everything over. Try to make it neat. Let's see if we can get that to stay with a little spot of glue. All right, so that's got our little stem there. And now we want to find our little leaves. I thought we'd use some, these are oak leaves, but I have a pattern that you can use um, and make your own leaves out of burlap if you prefer. But we're just gonna use some store-bought leaves. I can get these at the Dollar Tree or Joann's, Michael's, you probably can find them just about anywhere. So I was trying to debate if I wanted to use both of these or one of these or what I wanted to do there. So let's just see what happens. We'll kind of play with it and see what we like. I'm gonna cut these apart. I'm actually gonna use my favorite wire cutters, even though there are no wires in this. These are the just plasticky ones. Plasticky, I'm sure that's a real term. So let's see if we can get that to stay there. I use a little bit of finagling and a little bit of, you guessed it, a little bit of glue. So I'm gonna kind of stick it up inside that hole that's, um, that's left from the creation of the stem. I don't know if that's actually, let me get the, I'm gonna use the screw that we took out of there to kind of hold it down. Let's see if we can get that to stay. All right, this doesn't really wanna stay in there perfectly, so we'll just put a little bit of spot of glue on this side of it, and I think it'll cooperate from that end. We'll kind of cover up that kind of ugly metal thing right there with the leaf. And we're gonna to try to get this one to go in there. I'm actually gonna put it on the top side We'll see if, if that'll work better. So we'll try to stick it in there and get it to stick to that. I did a couple different things. I have, um, I used my wire and I'll have, I'll put the source for that below. And I can either, and this would be cute, maybe stick it up this way, you know, so it's going a little different. And this is your tendril. Um, I might want it to be a little bit longer since my stem is so long. And then I also made, and I can, you can see how I did this on my sweater pumpkin um, video, and I'll put that in the description as well, and you can see that, and that's super cute. All right, so I did the this, and I that one's really giving me a go at it, so I'll just get this piece. So I made this one out of a piece of twine. It was really, um, you kind of have to pull them apart after they dry. And you can see how I did that. I said in that video, it's super oh, simple. Um, so you can either use this one, and you, of course, would cut it where you don't want the thing. So we could either go that way, or we can use this one. So I'm just going to kind of decide. This one brings out the dark of this. This goes with that. So let's just see what we what we're going to do, and then we'll decide on the colors. This one probably won't stay up as well, so I'm probably going to go with this one because I think this will keep its shape longer. The other one doesn't have as much. It's usually better at it, it, um, going, you know, down. It wants to go with gravity. So I'm just going to twist this around. This stuff is amazing. All right, so I'm just going to get my heavy duty wire cutters and give it a snip. And we'll put those aside and we'll see what we're gonna do next. So we kind of get we're kind of building this up and then I've got my little brown thing here. Whatever. That's gonna be cute. So I'll try to decide if I wanted to do green, but I was kind of thinking that green is kind of the same color. So that was a little bit boring. And then yellow, which is kind of pretty, right? But would it be better to do it with this or is it too much the same? So let's try, let's try this and see if this is going to look like anything. I don't think I'm, I don't know. We might just make the bow out of both and then we'll decide which one we like the best. So 
want to cut a piece of wire about a, you know 12 inches long it's probably more than what is necessary but more is better than this sometimes i'll do that i don't think i'm gonna do another one all right so then i like to make a bow by doing these kind of decide you want to make sure that when you're doing this that you have a whatever you do in half that's the size of bow you're going to have. And that's kind of big. I'm going to put it here. It's a little bit big, so I'm going to go a little bit smaller. So I'll take a little bit away. Kind of go here. And then I'm going to pull it up here. I'm going to decide on this if this is going to be okay, just a wee bit less. And I think we're, we're about right on. All right, I think that's cute. All right, so that's about all we need. So I'm gonna do that. And this is looking a little ratty right here, so I'm gonna give it a trim, because I do not want anything get a mess in my bow. So I'm just gonna cut it off on the bottom. Then I'm going to bring back this. So I just made like, this is like one loop that I pulled together in the center. And then I'm going to take this one and I'm going to pull it up behind it. And this will be my, right? So now I'm just going to take my wire, put it in the center, hold both pieces together. I just hold both of them together at the same time. We hope and twist it around. Now I'm gonna pull them open like that because I can actually attach, but I'm not really attaching it probably that way. I probably just glue it, but I'm not sure yet. So I wanna keep them open in the event. If you're using um, a bow, it always kind of works out better that way. And then for the center, I'm just gonna take a piece. I'm just still attached, so about like that. put it around this through the center and you can use that side or this side I kind of like the crazy side that looks kind of fun and you can either cut it off and glue it right there or you can tie it and then cut it off I'm just gonna tie it it's easier and you don't have to worry about it. you can adjust it a little bit all right Trim it down real close. Don't cut the wire. You might want to use that. Then I'm going to trim my other little tail, and that's only to the tie in the center, not not to the tails of the rib of the bow. All right. So now we have our little bow, and of course we're going to need to fluff it. This is wired ribbon. You can always get. It to do just what you want. I mean, I just remember the first time um, I heard a wired ribbon, I'm like, oh, what the heck? But it turns out they're beautiful. They're dr it's a dream to work with. So I'm seeing a little bit of mess there from that. So I have to manage that a little bit. And we can add our little bow with our little friend here. Let's see about where we're going to put him. Before I make the final decision about cutting this or doing anything with it, I want to make sure about where I'm going to put it. So I'm going to say I like it about right there. Okay, so we like it about there. So I want to cut my little ends and I'm just going to do the little that. I'm going to cut the side. They don't have to be exactly the same. Imagine that they're kind of going around, blowing in the breeze. That'd be kind of different, but not too much because it's a pretty small piece. Lord knows I love ribbons and bows. All right, so I think I'm going to have to, um, I'm just going to use the wire and kind of tie it on here so we can kind of see what we want, and then we can come back and adjust it. So you can see if I put it there, I'll just do it a little 
couple twists in the back. So it's just kind of loosey-goosey over there, but that's all right. So we get to see our little bow. And we can kind of work our little thing there, or whatever we can, because it's got a little bit of wire in here. We'll just, before we get any further, I'm gonna add this in, and then we'll can manage the ribbon and the bow and all that. But let's just get him going. Give him a moment to set up. I think this might be cuter. This is not up here like that. Right, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna cut the wires off and then we're gonna, I think I'm just gonna glue him on. I don't think I can get him where I want him tying him to the top. He's too bunched up up there. He might be cuter in this kind of arrangement, you know, instead of so puffy. So I'm gonna give him a spot of glue over here and then I'm gonna find where he's gonna be, and that's where he's gonna live, right there. Still fooling with, still fooling with this thing. I think it needs another leaf. Bubba, put me on the palsy. I'm gonna try to find another one of those leaves. I feel like it needs another leaf, so. All right, I've decided, you know, how you like to kind of see as you go. So I decided I wanted to add maybe, maybe something else. So instead of using this, and I couldn't decide if I was gonna use two of them, I found, these that are connected together. So decided that might be the way to go. But I kind of felt like maybe it needed a little more something here. So I wanted to get a leaf to see about putting one down there. So I kind of like that, right? So I'm going to glue this one in and then we'll decide on that. Cause it was kind of just like a lot of something at the top and then nothing down. So I thought, why not add another something? So probably another one might be a bit much, but eh, we'll just see. All right, and then I have my, my two little friends here that <laughs> I really wanted to use acorns. So that's a green side and that's the brown side. This is the gold in it, like the thing. So I kind of like in that part. So where, oh, where do we put it? All right, so I decided to just kind of put it in the middle and we're gonna use the yellow of the gold side of the pumpkin, or the, well, of the acorns. So they kind of bring it all together. We have the dark, like the dots, and the wood is the brown and the yellow, and it has green. And it's just like the, the element that just seemed like it brought it all together. All right, so we've got our project finished. I've got a couple more to make, so we'll have a little grouping, and I'll get them up on the fireplace, and I'll, let's see how they look. As I was putting my little pumpkins together, I was trying to find a very small acorn. And this one I found in my yard. So this is a real acorn, but it's a little bit dark. So I'm gonna use a little bit of glitter. And I just wanted to share that with you. So let's get started. I'm gonna use Mod Podge. And just paint it on. Now I'm just going to add some glitter and I chose a golden, kind of a coppery golden because that's kind of the colors that we're working with. You know, copper and brown and green and mustard yellow, all the autumn colors. We're doing kind of a traditional, except for, you know, the crazy prints that we used. But the colors, of course, are traditional. Now look how gorgeous that is. Y'all, that is easy. So I'm gonna let it dry for a moment and then I'm gonna put it put it on and I'll share that with you in just a second. All right, for my little tiny little pumpkin here, I needed like a little bit of shimmer glimmer and so I'm gonna achieve it with my cute little acorn from the yard. So I'm gonna, <laughs> just gonna have to hot glue him on there. I don't have much choice here and hopefully you'll stay together. Oops. I have to try that again. Don't want to put too much, then I don't have enough. So I think I'll put it on here and then try to do it like that. Maybe that will work better. All right, so let's see if we can get him on there. So we're just letting him dry for a second. But there he is, a real acorn covered in glitter. 
It adds a little shimmer to my fall decor. Oh, that was so much fun. I can't wait to make some more. I have a whole bunch of craft paper and I thought I would do some like little bit crazy colors too. And why not make some for Halloween while I'm at it? All right, friends, I hope you'll subscribe and ring the bell and I'll see you soon. I've got a bunch of things planned for fall and you guessed it, Christmas. Have a great day and I will see you very soon.